Good morning from our land. So the past six months have been a lot of work and it's all been to get us to our property, which has been a dream for a long time um, for both of us. And we're finally here. It's super exciting. I am planning to take you along for this. I'm planning to document what we're doing out here, how we're doing things and sharing that process with you. So the rooted dietitian is really sort of even more rooted, <laughs> literally in the soil, um, rooted in growing food and being connected to the food on a level that's much deeper than it's been in the past is kind of where I feel like I'm going with my practice and just my business and myself in general. I. You know, if you followed along, you know I've had a backyard garden for years and now I finally have the opportunity to extend, expand on those skills that I've developed and do more with them and I'm so excited. So I'm taking you along with us. So today I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm doing and then I'm gonna put in some clips of things we've been working on in the process. And my plan is to do like maybe, a, hopefully, a weekly video of us like what we're doing around the property and sharing the steps of what how we're taking to improve things get the soil ready we are planning to have animals but we're doing everything in small steps and increments so that we don't overwhelm ourselves um, because going from a tiny backyard to 10 acres ish little under 10 acres has been a lot there's a lot more maintenance there's a lot more mowing there's things that break more often because there's more stuff out here so it's just been a lot um but anyway we're getting used to it it's exciting it's exciting to be busy and get up every day and have something to do outside i i'm so happy when that's my life when i get to go outside and like exert my body with work i'm so happy i'm, I'm just like a happier person so anyway this is what we're doing today. We have this area, I'm gonna flip the camera around. This is an area that I am planning to use as my garden. So it stretches all the way from here, all the way to the shed, which we're gonna use for chickens um, and geese. And then kind of, this is like the edge of our house and then the edge of our backyard. And so it's a big area. It's close to the house. It's sort of protected by these structures in terms of wind, for actually just the plants themselves dealing with wind, but also herbicide drift, things of that nature. And so this is where I think it's gonna go. I've already started the process of killing grass in some of these low spots. My plan with that is that I'm gonna try to level these myself. Um, I've never done that before, so that's another thing I have to learn, um, but I think I can do it. So I'm just gonna do the best I can because a lot of this is gonna get tilled up at some point and I, you know, I, I'm taking this step by step or I get super overwhelmed with it. If I don't go step by step, I get analysis paralysis or I just like want to give up. It's been such a change to be out here. It's hard to find compost. It's hard to find mulch. It's hard to find things. We're not near a major city. So it's like I have to travel three hours to get major, major city things. And oddly enough, like compost is more of a city thing i guess at least on a on a large scale so i'm either gonna have to go and drive and get that or see if they'll deliver it but i need compost to get started and that's been like the first hurdle it's like okay where do i get compost <laughs> i need to have it until i can make my own mulch is another thing getting safe mulch that i know is good and getting safe compost too so what i'm doing today is uh when it's not as hot i will probably come and lay more cardboard my purpose of that is just to kill that grass and then I'll rake it up and then fill with dirt and try to level it. That's that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. But it's the ground is already really hard and it's been hard to just pull up the grass and I'm kind of mad at myself because we had a lot of rain and I should have tried to roll up the sod uh, when it was more wet, but oh well. We're here now. So Today I'm coming out here because I need to figure out where the sun is and learn the sun, how the sun, you know, where it is at what time of day, what has sun, what doesn't have sun. And overall, that's 
it's so far I feel like it's pretty straightforward out here because there's not a lot of things that are casting shade. We do have some trees on this side that I'm probably gonna cut down. Um, not that I'm a big cut down tree person, but this is the east side where the sun rises and so I need that sun <laughs> for my garden. So a couple of these trees that are really small are probably gonna get taken down, um, is my thought, but we'll see. Other projects we're working on. So right now it's figure out compost, figure out mulch, kill grass, level the grass. Once I get over those hurdles, I'm gonna actually lay out my garden beds and how I'm gonna do them. I'm doing in-ground and some raised beds because I'm a big raised bed gal. I just love my raised beds, okay? <laughs> The other, th the other thing is build a compost area. We're gonna have a two bin system, I think. And then later in the fall, we're gonna get the chicken coop ready. Um, like build in areas for the chickens to nest or whatever and uh, get, it, get it ready for chickens. The other thing I'm simultaneously working on is I have a guy from the conservation district who is gonna come out and help me Look at some of the health of my trees. Just figure out like, what do I need to do? We have some very old maple trees that I don't want to die. And I just want to make sure they're healthy and what I can do to keep them healthy. Other than that, we want to plant, we want to plan and plant a large shelter belt on our northwest corner of the property. There's really not a good shelter belt here. Um, there's, there's established old trees, and I think that there were probably other trees, but I think that they've just died over the years and haven't been replaced. So I wanna do hopefully some edible things. I'm hoping the guy has some creative ideas. I really would like to do some sort of edible um, shelter belt, maybe some elderberry bushes, tree, bush, whatever. Just cool things that we could lay in there that are also food. So that's like using our using our space wisely because that is one of our pastures and I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to have animals there or not. I don't know. But anyway, um, those are the things we're working on. So I plan to take you along and film these things. To be honest with you, I'm going to film on my phone because that's the only way that this is ever going to happen. Um, I can't drag my camera out and do this right now. So phone it is. And I'm going to take you back through the last few months and show you some of the stuff we've done. That back there, those are fruit trees that are definitely older than five years old that are, were on the property. One of them needed help, so we pulled it up with our truck, which was a risky decision, but we just were like, you know what, we're going to try it. Um, the tree was leaning a lot. It stayed up so far. It seems like it's struggling because it's probably a little bit stressed out, but overall, you know, it's still alive. So if we can get it to take stronger roots over the next year, hopefully once it recovers from that, it'll start producing. I've been fertilizing both of them. I've been watering both of them. I have to haul water by bucket over there because there's no, for whatever reason, they didn't put any water on this side of the property, which is a project for a much later day. <laughs> so for now, we're just going to haul water. Um, but I do have watering on the other side of the barn like for animals and I have two hydrants over here so there's some water and we could get water over there but not today not today one by one so it's really exciting to be on this side of my dream I'm glad you're here and I hope you enjoy following along with us Hi.